the only reason I make art is because my mother was an art student at BYU. She brought that influence into our family. So now every single day I draw, I create something. I have a new page that didn't exist the day before. And then I can go to bed happy. I think comics are the most personal art form that there is. It's a one-on-one -on -one communication. Like, I'm going to write it and draw it, and then you're going to sit down and read it. But you have to do that alone. There's like the illusion of movement, panel to panel. Your mind fills that in. I just have to give you enough information in my art and let your brain fill in the rest. That's the magic of it. How few lines can I put on the page to communicate what I'm trying to communicate? That's cartooning. So it's a very intimate art form. Honesty is something that people see in my work. The only thing that matters is getting it done at my desk. That's it. Once it's created, it's created, and I feel satisfied. My father is still very involved in the LDS faith. My mother's family goes very far back in the religion. They met at Brigham Young University had way more kids than they could support. That was a big problem with our family and why we slipped into poverty. And by the time I was sort of coming of age, my family was falling apart. So my mother and father divorced because my mother lost her faith. So when they divorced, they moved into different states and I stayed with my mother. My mother was just a Mormon housewife. All of a sudden she had to go back to work and she didn't really have a skill set for that kind of thing. So there's probably five of us that were still at home with her. It was just brutal. She told me that Joseph Smith was a liar and a con man, that there was no such thing as hell, that God was a woman. <laughs> it was a lot of information that was like very jarring to me. And then my mother was working all the time, so she wasn't around. So I spent my childhood from then on just on the streets, you know, stealing things from Target and getting into trouble with friends and stuff and just making bad decisions. I was very confused and very angry. I grew up in the church where, from the moment I was born, I was told basically what my path was going to be in life. And that was very comforting for me. Everything was all planned out. I just needed to do what the church told me I needed to do. And once my family split up. I didn't have that plan anymore. Suddenly my life was thrown into chaos. I felt like I had been lied to or something. There wasn't anybody watching over me. I could do whatever I wanted to. That became the theme of the rest of my teens until I moved out eventually. It was just a lot of tearing down of the past. So I got into making comics of my own when I was about 18, maybe 19. And for some reason, I did a comic about Joseph Smith as like a superhero and his sidekick was a monkey named Moroni. And then as I 
continued making comics more seriously, I made several attempts at trying to tell the story of Joseph Smith, and I just couldn't do it, and I'd have to put it aside. But when I turned 30 years old, that's when I really started reflecting on my past a lot more seriously and with an intent of like, okay, I think I've just been on the wrong road and I need to redirect myself. Why am I where I am and how do I fix this? What do I really want? How do I get there? When I looked back, I saw that the church really did have a lot to do with my identity, and it was sort of this unresolved thing that I just wasn't paying attention to. And then that became the purpose, like, well, that's why I should do that graphic novel, so that I can finally resolve that question in my life. So I got a stack of books and a notebook (laughs) and I just started doing my research and then writing things down and then traveling to different historic sites. I went to Novu, Palmyra, New York, and I just took a lot of photos and I just immersed myself in that world. That's all I was interested in, was working on that graphic novel. It just kind of clicked. Here's what things are going to look like. Here's a symbol for Brigham Young, Joseph Smith, Emma Smith. But that's not really enough. Like if I'm writing and if I'm drawing that scene, I need to sort of be that person. I need to be that character so I really fully understand why they acted the way they did, what that would be like to be in their shoes. And to just have a fuller understanding of why these events happened. So if I'm drawing Joseph Smith like on his childhood farm or something, I have to put myself in his shoes and understand like what his family was going through. So in drawing Joseph Smith, I am inhabiting him. Drawing his father, I'm inhabiting his father. I have to be these characters in order to tell the story. I can't be an observer like the reader is. I have to become them and act these things out for the reader. And little by little, I did. The big revelation for me was that this is not a place where I should be. This isn't for me. It's not a church that I belong in. What it was was a collection, seeing all of these events and things piled up on top of each other and going back and looking at them all. All of them together just didn't feel right to me. It didn't feel real. It didn't feel like there was truth there. By the time I got to him with his own militia, I just felt like this is about power. It doesn't feel like a Christian thing. Just didn't feel like a prophet to me. So my mother, she did take me in a place where I should have been. It was scary. I was in the wilderness for a long time, but in the end, she took me where I was supposed to be. The hardest thing I ever did in my life, truly the hardest thing I ever did in my life, was creating that book. But it was worth it in the end. It gave me a lot of answers and a lot of peace of mind that I didn't have before that I was looking for. I have calmness to me today. I'm not frantic inside about leaving the path of righteousness. I don't feel that same tension that I was feeling as a teenager or even in my 20s. And I 
just sit back and draw comics about myself now. <laughs>